Persons living with disabilities have threatened to drag airline operators who discriminate against them to court. They say that these are an investigative hearing of the House over alleged violations of the Act prohibiting discrimination against persons with disabilities. National Assembly correspondent Jokiadisa reports on this. As at 2020, Nigeria was estimated to have about 27 million people living with one form of disability or another. In the last one year, increasing road crashes, the resurgence of attacks and security challenges have combined to increase the figure of persons living with disabilities in the country. In the midst of this rising figure, PWDs say they have been frustrated and discriminated against by airline operators when traveling. A petition by one of them necessitated this investigative hearing. And the lawmakers are emphatic on the need for everyone to lend support to PWDs. It is worrisome that the estimate of persons living with disability as of today is not clear. Public places should provide access, unfettered access to persons with disability and a mandatory and compulsory inclusion of not less than 5%. The anger and bitterness are palpable as these PWDs relate their experiences. I leave Nigeria to another country. You see how they are trying to hustle me. I feel like a king anywhere I go. But what you are in Nigeria, you find it very difficult. Why are we trying to make life very difficult for our own people? showed me that it's even written on their website that blind persons are not allowed except when they pay extra. But while majority of the airlines shunned the committee's invitation, the representative of one of them described as untrue allegations of discrimination against PWDs by his organization. A few times we have situations where we say you need to come with somebody before we can accept you. There are certain medical conditions, certain medical conditions. We ask people that come, we say, can I see your medical certificate if you are ill? And they show us those certificates and we say, look, this is the case that we're not trained to attend to. The committee was unhappy. Many of the airlines did not honor its invitation. Its resolve was to give them another opportunity to make their positions known, after which it would decide on its next line of action. Jokia Adisa, TVC News, Abuja.